Okay, are we recording? Yes, we are live. We gotta just turn on the camera and go sometimes. Guys, what is up, man? I'm excited to see you guys. I just had to hop up on this uh, channel real quick to let you guys know that the Big Kids album drops in like an hour, hour and a half. And I couldn't be more excited. Like I said before, I think this album is going to be a slow burn just because um, I have to let everybody know who has kids. You know, most of my audience is not kids. Most of my audience are parents who have kids. And so getting the awareness out there for this project is going to be huge. Some of the singles that I've dropped in the past that are on this project, like Quarantine Clean, have been promoted by families all around the country and it's been awesome to see some like viral videos and stuff but um still we need to get the word out there um kids don't have a lot of music that not only is god honoring but ex uh not explicit but clear with gospel truths and things that happen in life things that they might be going through emotions that they might be feeling there's no music that kind of is like a mr rogers version for them where it just kind of takes some things that they might be asking themselves about on a daily basis with their regular lives and with their faith and with their understanding of god and trying to make sense of the world around them as well as inside some of the things going on on an emotional level and a spiritual level um a little bit can be very weighty and a lot of times we don't give children the vocabulary and the outlets and ways to process these things. So a lot of suppressed emotion that's very intense for a child can be bottled up for too long. And it can lead to confusion, manipulation, sadness, um, just feeling unequipped, feeling uh, not enough, um, being worried, being fearful all the time, having anxiety. You know, behavioral issues are rampant. In the United States let alone around the world um, and especially in this digital age where it's like every kid I see has a phone if not a phone they have an iPad or a smartwatch they have technology speaking to them every single day and music is just such a freeing experience for a child you don't have to explain music to children they hear it they love it they understand it it gives them hope it gives them excitement and it can share truth with them. I remember Miles, we played him gospel records that were just very simple, Amazing Grace, you know, things like that. And he might not have understood it, but over time as he sang it, the emotion was able to be informed by truth. And out of a whole song, even if he picks up one line that he fully understands, what a great thing for a child to be equipped in the next step in their journey to being kids. Um, but with that being said, kids also need dope, modern, hard hitting music that touches them in different genres and different formats. Music should be able to make kids want to dance, want to worship, want to think, want to rest, all kind of things. And I just feel like there's not enough out there for children because a lot of the stuff for kids out right now is all based off of excitement. You know, kids, when they ingest content, are fed this massive energy drink of content where it's all about getting excited and being hyper and, and everything's got to be really upbeat and crazy because kids are like that. And it's like, well, wait a second. No, like kids are definitely more than able and do have different levels of emotion where they even need to experience a balance of things like rest or being able to be alone for a period of time or being able to be considerate of somebody other than themselves or just not excited. There's a time to be serious. There's a time for jokes. There's a time for laughter. And absolutely, we need to understand that children are full of energy and full of life. And we shouldn't really suppress that God-given um behavior from a child however it should be balanced it should be disciplined and it should be nurtured uh, by us the adults and so um a lot of these things i'm just kind of venting out loud with some of the things going on in my mind as i made this album i want kids to 
not only be able to worship and dance, but to be informed about another new thing about God that they never knew before. Maybe they heard their parents talking about it, but they just, they, well, what does that mean? Being able to process the love of God, um, who God is, what his character is like, but also some of the simple stuff like, how do I deal with anger? How do I deal with frustration? What happens when life isn't going so well? That's one of the things that I, I found that Mr. Rogers did so well, the, the TV show and the, and the guy that ran it, is he aimed to simplify the language that we so commonly get into with this kind of like weightiness. We always use big words to try to sound deep. And it's like, well, maybe the measurement of how well your knowledge is of something is how well you could strip all the fat down and simplify. And I felt, I felt that Mr. Rogers did that so well. And he allowed kids to be able to process and deal with things that maybe adults have come accustomed to saying, well, no, the kid is not ready for that yet. Um, the child can't handle this type of thing. Well, it's like, well, maybe if we equipped them, then they could. And the sooner that they could deal with those things, the more they can manage their behavior and process the world around them in a healthy way. So anyway, that being said, the album is definitely energetic. It's got its moments of serious, its moments of excitement. Um, I'm just so excited with the variety of content that this album has produced. Um, this is like a kid's bop or a now CD for the kids, but with godly content and clean content. Um, I, I've said this before. If you are an adult or you are a teenager and above, don't think that this album is not for you. It absolutely is. If you've ever wondered how to communicate a lot of deep truths um, or life experiences and, and simplify it as you process it and even it has, as you've thought through your communicating with other people, how do I explain this to a child? How might I explain this to a child one day? Um, ha do I fully understand this topic that he's discussing in a way where I can explain it both with a weighty set of language as well as simplifying it down. Um, and just like good music. This is more good music for you guys. Some of the records I've had out in the past, like I said, like Quarantine Clean um, and uh, Pump Fake and things like that, but um, this album has fully been remixed and remastered. So these tracks sound much better, much, much better. I spent a lot of time fine-tuning this project to be cohesive, to make sense. Um, there's a merch line already available if you go to shopconscience.online. Again, that's shopconscience, C-O-N-S-C-I-E-N-C-E, -E, shopconscience.online. You can see the entire merch line that I've put out in the past uh, as well as the present with the new items that are, be, that are currently out and the new items that will be coming out. Um, the Big Kid merch is out. I've got another facet of it that'll be dropping shortly. Um, but there's some merch that you guys can pick up as well. I don't make much from the merch. I try to make it affordable. Affordable, God-glorifying, fresh gear that everyone from kids to adults can rock with confidence that's high quality. You can trust that when you get merch from me, it's going to be delivered to you with excellence. The fabrics are going to be excellent. You can wash your clothes, um, it'll last, you can pick your fabrics, you can pick your colors, and it's a dope experience for everybody. I'm also fully, as you can see on a week-to-week -week, week basis now, I'm all in with the YouTube. So I'm going to be continuously dropping content, and I'm even going to have some like music review streams as well as like further analysis of just topics and discussions and even playing music for you guys because now that I'm on OBS which is just a software uh, where I stream this stuff online directly on my computer I'll be able to incorporate music and graphics and things like that in here um, so that you guys can enjoy the content have another degree of uh, enjoyment there so anyways guys if you want to buy the album feel free to find it on iTunes or any platform that you guys consume music if you just want to stream it that's wonderful I don't really care. However you want to support, however you want to listen to the music, use what works for you. And I appreciate everything. If the music touches you in any way, provokes thought, makes you feel good, um, does something for your life, please tell, <clears throat> please tell me. 
drop a, a comment, DM me, let me know. If it was a conversation starter for you, let me know. If you'd like me to speak somewhere, let me know. Um, if you'd like to chat online, I'd be more than happy to. Um, these things are very meaningful to me. The community that I speak to, I think very highly of, and I think through and I pray about constantly as I'm making this music. I'm trying to build a catalog that will leave behind a legacy in a format of an imperfect man changed by God, and um, it just is on fire for the gospel and God's purposes and God's kingdom, and is just a, somebody who cares about people, and um, and also seeks to be excellent at what they provide, whether in service or in music, uh, any type of content I do, I want to glorify God. I want to be honest. I want to be sincere about what I do. I don't want to be forceful. And I also want to be extremely creative. So I hope this project blesses you guys. Again, go to conscienceshiphop.com to see a quick snapshot of all, th all things conscience and content from conscience. And that's just the best way to get in touch with me in any way, shape, or form. Uh, with the content or with me directly. Hope you guys have a blessed night and uh, let me know what you think about the Big Kids album dropping in one hour. Peace.